Hi friends, welcome back to Time to Learn. After developing Android applications or iOS applications, developers will try to earn with that application. In that way, Google AdMobs is one of the way to earn money. Okay, let's start our tutorial. In this video, I will demonstrate the banner ad. Banner ad is nothing but if we get any empty space, there we will show a ad. So that type of ads or banner ads. In this video, we will see how to implement that type of ads. Okay, let's start with a new project. No need to explain how to create project and all. Why? Because you are searching for ads. That means you are not a beginner. So no need to explain all those things. Okay. Okay. Project is ready. Now we can create a banner ad. Here we will show add. So there is an empty space. Here we will show add. For that, go to browser and search for banner add. Add mode. You can observe the first link banner ads. So open that link. There you can find the entire documentation. So before that, we need to add the SDK and we need to add the metadata for that click on get started scroll down here you can observe the dependency implementation so copy that dependency and go to our application then open builder.gradle app level so in dependencies simply add that uh, copy dependency and click on sync after completing the project sync so now again go to browser so scroll down and copy the metadata now again go to app and open manifest.xml and add manifest.xml in between application tag we need to paste that metadata and also we need to replace the uh, test app id always we need to go with the test ads why because uh, at the first time google won't show any ads with our original app id or original add unit id so for that we need to go with the test ids so simply copy the test app id and paste the value here and also add internet permissions so like uh, add internet permission and then add access network state and also add access Wi-Fi state okay now we need to go with the banner ad so simply click on banner ad and uh, click on get started now scroll down copy the XML code for banner ad design and change the layout to, to relative layout okay the xml code is completed now we need to go with the java code and also scroll down Now initialize that add view. So go to Java and initialize initialize that 
and also scroll down you can observe that mobile ads initialize and also copy that code the entire code based on on create method okay if you have any errors simply place the cursor and uh, press alt plus enter and import the class error will resolve okay uh, similarly do for all alt enter then import class okay now run the application now we can observe that test ad is visible that means banner ad is working fine now we need to replace that test add unit id to real add unit id we need to change that add unit id and app id to get add unit id and app id we need to create account in google admob and we need to create application in google admob for that go to google and search for google admob there you can observe the first link mobile app monetization so open that first link and simply click on sign in button okay simply sign in with your gmail okay this is my dashboard if you are doing for the first time you won't get any analysis like this app statics like this simply click on apps then then click on add app okay now select the platform uh, platform means whether it is ios application or it android application and also select whether the app is published in play store or not i'm selecting android and the application is not published in play store simply click on continue now give the application name i will give as a quiz app quiz app and then simply click on add app okay then simply click on done okay now this is the application quiz app here we need to create our add units so for that click on add unit so now select banner ad simply click on banner ad and give name for that so i will give as home banner ad home banner ad so if you want to give any advanced settings so advanced settings these are uh, not necessary if simply click on create ad unit now we need to select this app id first one is the app id second one is the add unit id so first first select app id and copy it now go to application then open android manifest so here in value we need to set that app id to real app id so this is the test app id so we need to replace that uh, test app id to real okay similarly okay it's completed now again go to browser and copy the add unit id and go to application then open the designing part of the banner id and add that add unit id to real add unit id okay like that we need to place ads in our application uh, this is the banner ads in next tutorial we will see how to implement interstitial ads in our application thank you thank you for watching